welcome back to my channel. I'm Bean and today I am going to be giving you guys another TJ Maxx haul. If you haven't checked it out already, go check out my video on this eye look. I will link it down in the description box below. So to get started, I don't have a ton of products this time, but I have a couple and I have a few beauty products and then I have a couple home products as well. So I am going to get started with the beauty products. I've already opened all this stuff and I put it back in the package so that you can see it. I got these two lip, they're called Shimmer Lip Shade Shifters. They are from e.l.f. They were at TJ Maxx for $2.99. Um, they also had two other shades, but I only got these two. Uh, they had a bronze shade and they had a black as well. The two that I got are Brightening Starlight and Lightning Golden Glow. One is more of a white color and one is more of a gold. I'm not sure how much these actually retail. It says they compare at $4, so I didn't really save a whole lot of money on these but I have never seen these before so I wanted to check them out I'm not really sure what they are how they work so on the back of the box it says this shimmering lipstick transforms and enhances existing lip color use the light gold color to brighten matte lipstick for a metallic finish or wear alone for a sparkly shine layer over lip color or wear alone well this one is the gold one lightning golden glow if you can see that it's very sheer but it has a gold glittery not glitter necessarily but a gold shimmery shift to it and then the other one is kind of a white clear looking shade this one is called brightening starlight you can see a difference this one is definitely more white and this one is definitely more gold I'm gonna be a total weirdo and pick this up with my toes because I that's one of my special skills I think I'm gonna put some lipstick on and then we'll put this over it in a minute and see how it works so I'm gonna use this NYX lip lingerie this one is in the shade corset okay so that's on while it's on I'm gonna let it dry and show you some of the other products and then we will try these things out one of the other things that I got is this Too Faced La Cream color drenched lip cream I got this one for $5.99 it says compare at $10 but I'm pretty sure that these are 18 or something I don't know I will link I will link the actual prices of these things down below so that you can see what the actual price difference is. I mentioned this in my last video which I'll link down below as well. These are all original products. They're not fakes. They're just overflow um, things like that. That's what TJ Maxx gets. Everything is 100% authentic. The only thing is that sometimes people get into them and swatch them so you do have to check and make sure it's not been used or messed with or anything like that unless that kind of thing doesn't bother you. So the color I got in this lipstick is the shade Taffy. Looks like this. It's like a light pink kind of glossy type of lip. It's not it's not gloss, it's cream like it says. It's it's cream. I really like this formula from Too Faced. I like their cream lipsticks. Yeah, I was excited to see this at TJ and get it for quite a bit off. The last thing that I found that is beauty is this Smashbox highlighting palette. I got this for $14.99 and it retails for $35 on the Smashbox website. These are the Spotlight palettes. This one is in the shade Pearl. I've swatched these as well. When I got this one, it did come with the plastic over the mirror. I I took that off and this is what the shades look like. I will swatch them on my other hand for you and let you guys see what they look like. They're all pretty. Two of them are just shimmery and one has some glitter in it. Two of them, these two here, are just shimmery shadows and then the last one right there has some glitter in it. I'm gonna try it out. Ooh. I am dropping everything. Let me use my toes again. I'm gonna put this on my resume. Special skills. I'm gonna try out this one right here. What I got on highlight, but why not highlight some more? I think it's nice. It's, ooh, that's a lot of chin highlight. Then there's a glittery one. Let's put that one on. It's not super glittery, actually. Okay, so this lipstick is pretty much dry. I'm going to be totally weird and try on one of these on one side and one of them on the other. I'm gonna put the gold over here and the silvery white over here. So let's try the gold first. Ooh, that's pretty. It's actually really pretty. What do you guys think? I think it's cool. I also think these would be neat to wear alone without a color underneath, just as kind of like a gloss. Let's try the silvery white one. 
Not sure how this will look with the brown, but ooh, these are cool. Now I want to go get the other two that I didn't get. So you can see the difference between this side and this side. I think they're both pretty. They're both cool. I want to try them, though, without any lipstick underneath and see what they look like. So I'm going to take this off real quick. Let's try it again. Gold over here, silver over here. These are nice. They're like a glittery gloss topper, but super cheap and... I think they look really pretty. The glitter in it is not like coarse, you can't feel it. But yeah, I think that's a nice touch um, to add either to, to a lipstick already or it's pretty just to wear on its own. The next thing that I wanted to mention is kind of a beauty product, more like a bath product, and it is this True Beauty Shower Cap. And this one I got for $3.99. It says compare at $6. I don't know how much this is originally, but I have been wanting to get a shower cap because I usually don't wash my hair every day. I usually wash it like every other day or every two days because if I don't it gets extra oily and I found the less often that I wash it the less oily it has been getting. I think that every other day every two days works really well for me but obviously I still need to bathe so I wanted something that I could put all my hair in instead of just putting it in like a bun and so I got a shower cap like a I don't know I always for some reason whenever I think of shower caps I think of like grandma's or something because like to keep their perm. The cool thing about this one though is it comes in this little plastic container that has like, I don't know, what do you call these suction cups to hook to your shower so it'll always stay in your shower and it's got holes on the bottom to drain. You're not like in the shower and you're like, crap, I forgot my shower cap and have to get out and you're wet and go get it. And so it just comes in there. And I got one with olives on it because I thought that was cute. So it's like a, like a plastic on the inside and like a fabric on the outside. It's got a little elastic. Oh, it says, oh, that's cute. It says all of you. I'm gonna put it on. I wonder, should I like pull my hair up to do this? I don't really know. I'm going to. I'm gonna pull my hair into like a little bun and then try to put this on top of it. Oh. You guys, this is a good look. I don't know, I feel like a milkmaid or something. This is like a bonnet. I think it's cool, I haven't used it yet. We'll use it and I'll maybe, if I remember, get back to you on how it works. But I think it's, maybe it'd be cool just to wash my body, wash my face, and not have to worry about getting my hair all messed up. It's a pretty cool little doodad. I'm gonna call it a bonnet. Maybe I should go out in public with the bonnet on and see. I get any weird looks. Anyway, the last thing that I got from TJ this time is this. This is like the home item that I was talking about. This is a crushed ice tray. I got it for $2. I don't know what it was originally because they've covered up the price tag with these clearance stickers. And it looks like it got marked down a bunch of times. Nobody wanted this, but I saw it and I was like, I want this. Couldn't be that expensive. Compare it $12, it kind of is expensive. Anyways, this says it is a crushed ice tray. And I love crushed ice and I always drink, I always have my water bottle, but I sometimes I can't get ice in it, you know what I mean? So this one says it makes eight ounces of crushed ice. Back it says this tray makes crushed ice to fill a single glass of your beverage of choice. The thin ice molds freeze quickly and are easily crushed and dispensed by simply squeezing the flexible tray in your hand. So I think, I'm gonna open this. So I think what it means is like it has all these little tiny little things like this and they're very loose. They aren't very sturdy. So I think I'm supposed to fill it up, freeze it, and then I should be able to like do this and it crushes up the ice instead of just like letting out all these long strips, which is pretty cool. Even if it lets out on the long strips, those strips will fit in my water bottles. So that's a plus. It says it's made out of silicone. So I'm gonna try this out and maybe I'll let you guys know how that goes too. Maybe I will film it. I could do a vlog making crushed ice. Vlog, I'm feeling weird today, yeah. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like my bonnet. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Give the bonnet a thumbs up because this bonnet is a good look. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more fun, weird, silly, makeup, who knows what kind of videos I'll come up with. And hit the button, the bell button. 
because it will let you know whenever I put up a new video. And I've been putting up videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturday. So you are getting three times the videos from me every week. Three times the bonnet. Probably not three times the bonnet because I'm not going to wear the bonnet in every video. But yeah, hit that button down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello guys, I realized that I am in a different shirt and different makeup, but after I filmed this video about my TJ haul, I had the urge to go to TJ and pick up the other two e.l.f. Lip, ugh, lip, lip shifters and I wanted to show them to you guys and I also found something else while I was there. So I wanted to show that to you as well. And I figured why not just tack it on to the end of this video. I've got the black one. This one is called Darkening Black Star. And if I swatch this one on my hand, it kind of looks like an oil spill. So I'm not really sure how this one's gonna look on the lips, but it looks like an oil spill on my hand, so we'll see. And I also got the bronze one, and this one is called Brightening Bronze. And so this one, I don't know what it looks like. Let me rip it apart and these were still there still three bucks so I was like cool I'll try them out I liked the other one so much I wanted to try these so the bronze one looks like this and it's just a little bit more gold than the other one was the other one was more like a champagne gold shade this is the golden glow one right here I think that the first two that I bought are my favorites I'm pretty sure that I didn't go wrong on getting those and then right here is the pearl one it's called brightening starlight all of them together on my hand the last two that I bought have way more color since I've already got lipstick on I am going to throw these on over top of it and see what it looks like it's just a nude lipstick so we'll see the gold one or bronze I guess it's bronze but it's like the tube is way more gold, I feel like, than this one. This is more of a champagne. Hey, it matches my background almost exactly. So I'm gonna put the gold over here, the black over here. You like my lipstick face? I like this one, this one's not bad. I think over a darker lip color or even a darker nude like what I have on now, I think this one looks pretty good over it. I didn't expect it to look this good, but I like it. And I am really excited about these and I'm probably gonna be using them quite a bit on top of lipsticks when I want just a little bit of shine, but I don't want a sticky gloss because that's kind of what these feel like to me. Like a glossy look, but without the stickiness. This one though, is a weird one and I got it because I was like well if I have the other ones I want to try the dark one too who knows it could be awesome but it's probably gonna be weird let's be real so I'm gonna try that one this time I don't hate it I think it'll have its purposes but I definitely don't love it as much as I like the other ones it covers the lipstick too much I feel like whereas these three were more like a glittery kind of balm top coat this one has a lot more color to it I feel like I think for like a Halloween look or something this could be really cool and be neat over like certain colors on just like a regular day I I don't see me wearing it. Let's see how it looks by itself. Maybe it'll be cool. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick and wipe off some of my foundation too, you know. You know how you do. Or me anyway. I don't know if everybody else is as savage as I am when it comes to taking off lipstick. Now I'm gonna try the bronze by itself on this side and the black by itself on this side. Oh, my little string is out. You know, I hate these strings. Like this one's not even like connected. Who hangs their clothes up by these strings? Nobody, nobody does. I am gonna put that on this side. I don't love this one as much by itself, I will be honest. I like this one over that nude lip that I had on, but not as much by itself. I think the color is weird with my skin tone and it doesn't look as good personally, but I did really like it on top of the lipstick. Now let's try the oil spill and see what it looks like. About the same, really, I don't know. I do like it better on its own, I will say that. What if I did my whole lip with this one, with this black one? Let's see. Ugh, that was a mess. I am getting reckless over here. Reckless behavior. I'm still getting reckless. I don't know. I need to like chill out. Oh my God, look how <laughs> reckless. Look at that. If you like, if I kind of like go like this, it kind of looks like it's like a dimple. See the dimple? It doesn't look like it's just a mess. It like looks like a dimple. Yeah. Okay, well. 
there's the black on my whole lips. I'm not loving it. This is, I'm not having it my way. I don't love it. I think it's weird. And not because it's black, because I like black. And I like black lipstick, honestly. But this is weird. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I would definitely recommend these three, um, especially these two. This one would, I think, look really good on deep skin tones. I think these are good. And for like a few bucks, why not, man, right? Why not? So the last thing that I got is an Anastasia liquid lip. This was $7. It says compare at 12, but I'm pretty sure they're more like 20. And this one is in the shade Naked. Okay, savagely wipe that off. And I'm gonna put this one on because I don't want that black stuff all over. And I've just like wiped off everything and gotten stuff everywhere and just kind of ruined the makeup around my mouth, you know? So, this is really light and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's really, really light. It's like a peach shade, but it's, I don't know. I think maybe if I mixed it with something else, it would be okay, but on its own, I don't know if it works for me or not. I'm thinking it doesn't. Anyway, that completes the additional portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. I don't know why I was like this. Like, what kind of thumb is this? Like, an arthritic, like, grandpa thumb? Like, hit the thumbs button. The thumbs button. Oh my, I just need to leave. I need to leave. I need to leave. Really. Woo! It is like, I don't even know what time it is, but it is not late at night and I am just gone. And it's Tuesday. It's not even like a Friday. It's not even like I've had like a full work week. It's Tuesday. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you like me. Give it a thumbs up if you don't like me. And I will be back with another video. Probably whatever is the next day that I upload because I'm not really sure when this video is going to go up. So it could be Saturday, it could be Tuesday, it could be Thursday. Keep your eyes peeled for new video. And I will see you guys later. Bye!